so I haven't filmed a drugstore haul in a really, really long time. I feel like I haven't bought anything from the drugstore in a very long time. So when I went in, I was like, oh my god, I need this, 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 and that. So I have a huge drugstore haul to go through, and I'm just going to get right started. I feel like I say that very weird. Get right started. Get started. So the first thing that I got was, of course, my Milani Liquify Eyeliner in black because this is the one I have right now and it is almost gone. So I had to get another one because I was afraid I would run out. The next thing that I got was um, pretty much based on YouTube. Everybody was talking about this mascara, so I really didn't need any other mascara, but I decided to pick this up anyway. And it is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, and I got it in very black. And I am actually wearing it um, today. I don't know if you can... Come on. I have Asian lashes. They are really, really straight. I don't even know why I got this. I think it's because I really, really liked the Lash Blast, the original. But, um, I can say that this is very buildable and I don't really notice it clumping. But for me, I need something that will be able to hold my curls. And so far, I'm not sure that this is actually doing that very well. Okay, so while we're on the topic of lashes, um, I did pick up some lashes. So I got the Ardell Twin Pack because this was a good deal. And then I picked up these because I thought they looked really, really pretty. So I can't wait to try these out. And then I do have my Lash Duo, but I decided I'm getting kind of tired of it. So I decided to pick up the Revlon. This is the Preci Precision Clear Adhesive. And I couldn't find the black one, the dark one, so I just went with the clear instead. And I'm hoping this will work pretty well because I like the fact that this has like a wand applicator. It is probably a lot less messier than the Lash Duo. Okay, and the next one is more on face products. Now I really really shouldn't be buying any more foundations because I I have a lot and if you've watched me from the beginning you know that I'm not really a foundation wearer but lately I have been because I've been getting <clears throat> some blemishes here and there and a lot of discoloration on the cheek so um, I did pick up a foundation from the drugstore because I don't really have any more drugstore foundations and I picked up the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and this is the eraser makeup um, foundation and I got it in 130 buff beige I actually have it on today and you can tell um, I know some people are really antsy about this because of the sponge applicator they say it's not sanitary blah 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 girl let me tell you actually let me show you I have all these brushes that I have yet to watch, wash and I'm very lazy no I do not use this on my face but I feel like I took the easy way out and just got this because it has the applicator. I don't know what it's been, like, what it's, it is with me. It's just I haven't really washed my brushes in a while, and I probably should. Speaking of brushes, I was thinking of getting that Sigma, like, that glove that's supposed to wash your brushes, and it looks so cool, and I kind of wanted the dry in shape, too. But, come on, $40 for a freaking plastic glove or silicone glove? Oh, man. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Okay, and then, um, while we're on the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, I picked up these two. So, the first thing I picked up was the brightener. Um, yeah, this, yeah, the brightener. And then I decided to pick up the neutralizer. Rather than just the concealer, because um, I don't actually need the concealer for my blemishes. I feel like they're not... Um, too much that foundation can't cover. I just need this for my under eye circles because they do kind of, you know, on those days that I don't sleep at all. Okay, sorry, but my camera cut me off because I ran out of memory. So, a thing with this new camera is that it films in 1080p HD, so it's very high quality, which means I get less use out of that memory card. I have an 8 gig memory card and it is not enough. So, I did pick up a couple of 16 gig memory cards. I just need an adapter for it. It's like an SD card, a micro SD card. So, anyways... Okay, so the next couple of things I was kind of bad about, I picked up a lot of the new Maybelline Color Tattoo um, Cream Eyeshadows. So I do have one originally, and the one I have is Bad to the Bronze. This is the one that I've had for quite some time. Um, I do really, really like these. They, they go on very nice and creamy. 
but I was pretty bad and I picked up uh, just a couple more. I don't know what it is about it. Um, I do like MAC paint pots too. I have the MAC Rubenesque and you know I put quite a dip in this one. This is a very nice color. This is my first and only MAC paint pot and I'm not going to be spending any more money on MAC paint pots because of these new color tattoos. So anyways let's get started. Um, I decided to pick up this color which is a very very nice pretty um, kind of like turquoise color and this is an emerald, edgy emerald. I picked this one up mainly because emerald is color of the year everybody. Pantone announced that 2013 the color of the year is emerald so instead of tangerine last year it was just kinda tangerine tango, tango tangerine whatever. I like the emerald better. Um, especially since it is my birthstone color. I'm a May baby and emerald is our color. So I did use it. Um, I really, really like this. And I'll probably do a more in-depth review on these Maybelline Color Tattoo color sh um, cream shadows, if you guys like. So I have the Edgy Emerald. I'm just going to fly by these colors. And then I got inked in pink because I believe this is one of the front, um, their limited edition collection or whatever. Um, it's a whole new separate line of colors. And I like this one. I got that around Valentine's season, go figure, right? And then I got this one, and this is um, Tough as Taupe. Now, this is from the regular line, and I don't know. I just really like taupe colors, and I have this on today as a base. So, um, I don't know if you can tell that I'm actually wearing it. I do have shadows on top, so you probably can't see. And then these two are the newer ones that I got that I have not test out yet. And this one is Gold Rush. I just thought that it was nice to get a gold color because I have nothing like this. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm, I feel like I'm going to collect them all. I don't know what this is. It's like Pokemon. you got to catch them all, right? So, then I have Tenacious Teal, which I don't know if I would consider this a teal, but it, it's a nice blue color. So I like that, and I picked that one up as well. Okay, so then, like I said, Emerald was color of the year, so I picked up the Milani Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner. Um, I really like their regular pencil liners, the Liquify pencil liners. I have not tried their liquid eyeliners before, so I decided I would try this one, and this one is obviously an Emerald. Then the next two things I also picked up are from L'Oreal, and they are these new... Oh god, what are these? These are like their new lip stains. So these are supposed to be their version of like the YSL lip stains. And I do have the actual YSL lip stain. So if you guys would like, um, I would do a review or a comparison like a versus video. Like a battle of the drugstore and high-end videos if you'd like. Anyways. So I did get the pink pers... Wait. Am I reading? Yeah, Pink Perseverance, which is this nice light pink, baby pink color. And then I also picked up Eternally Nude. So, like it says, it's a nude color. So, uh, the last couple of things I saved the best for last and that I'm most excited about, actually. Um, it is nail polishes. I haven't really bought any creamy color, spring color nail polishes in a really long time. And I really love cream colors. So, um, yeah, first thing I'm going to show you that's kind of like um, an outcast out of the group is the OPI Nail Polish, and this is in matte. I left the sticker on there so I could show you guys. This is a matte. Um, I don't have any matte nail polishes, and I'm really, really excited to try this one because St. Patty's Day is coming up, and I have this really cute idea in mind. So this is... Just a matte green. It doesn't have a name like it typically would. Oh, no, wait, it does. It's Gargantuan Green Grape. Oh, wow. So this is uh, my first OPI nail, OPI matte nail polish. I have others that aren't matte. I'm really excited to try this one out. Um, I was surprised to see OPI at CVS, actually, because I didn't think they sold OPI. Okay, and then the last couple of things I'm super duper excited about. Look at these babies. Look. Just look at them. Ooh. So they're Essie nail polishes. Um, I really, really love Essie nail polishes compared to OPI now. Um, 
I do have a couple, maybe it's just because the OPIs that I have aren't that great, um, or I don't know what it is about OPI, but I'm not really liking it anymore. Um, I have a lot of Sephora by OPIs as well, and I find that those kind of stain my nails, so I'm not too happy about those. That's why I didn't go all crazy about those. But I do love these Essie Nail Polishes, and they're all such pretty colors, like they're so me because they're creamy. So let me just get started and tell you the colors that I have. I got the Saint-Tropez, oh, Saint-Tropez, sorry, I'm thinking Saint-Tropez as in the tanning bronzer, um, the self-tanner, so this is just like a nice taupey, neutral, nude color, which I thought would be cute for any occasion, and then I picked up this color, and it is in Muchi Muchi, which I thought was such a cute name, Muchi Muchi. So, it's like a light baby pink color. I decided to try this out. My friend actually told me it's very, very sheer. So, I'm going to see how it is and we'll see how it goes. I did pick up a darker pink and this is in Madison Avenue. Avenue, get it? Instead of Avenue. And it is more, I would say it's like a darker pink. Not quite fuchsia though. Just almost there. Well, I guess you could say it's a fuchsia-ish color. Okay. And then I picked up, oh, uh, this one's very, very popular and everybody knows this color. This is Turquoise and Caicos, which is like a very nice um, tealish color. I couldn't get any of the Mint Candy Apple because they're all sold out. I feel like that color's always sold out. They're never in stock at my CVS or any CVS that I ever go to. And then the last two, well, I'm going to show you this one first. This is Bond with Whomever, which is a dark purple. Um, it's more like a lilac. It's very, very pretty. I love these creamy colors. And then this one, last but not least, is the one that I'm actually wearing. And this is in Go Ginza, which I thought was really cute because um, Ginza is actually a restaurant here. There's a like Japanese sushi restaurant in Ginza, and my friend works there, so it's really chill, and I love eating there. It's a nice chill place for me and my friends. Okay, so that is pretty much it for my huge drugstore haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and liked everything that you saw. Let me know if you have any questions or you want me to do a review because I definitely probably will do a couple reviews here and there. And you might even see these in a future yays and nays video. So that is it and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye!